Violet, I'm the happiest person in the world right now. Did something good happen, Abigail? You have no idea. You might be upset, but my son Mason gave me a present. Oh, well, that's nice. What did he give you? He bought me a Ferrari worth $500,000 with his credit card. A Ferrari? And $500,000? Got a problem with that, dear? I'm lucky to have a doctor for a son. Wait, are you sure it's not $5 by mistake? Like a $5 Ferrari toy car? Don't be ridiculous. What would I even do with a toy car? You've clearly lost your mind out of jealousy. What I got is a real Ferrari. It was just delivered. I'll show you later. Wait a minute. Mason bought it for you? That's what I said, didn't I? Look, I'll send you a picture of the car since it's such a special occasion. You're right. It really is a Ferrari. This Ferrari is incredible. You can instantly tell it's worth $500,000. This glossy red, the unique Ferrari design. The body is made of aluminum and carbon, so it's lightweight and fast. And the engine sound, it's just amazing. Every time I start it, I feel like I'm on a racetrack. And don't even get me started on the interior. The letter seats are made from the finest materials. And you can feel the luxury every time you touch them. Sitting in the driver's seat makes me feel truly special. It's a dream come true to finally be able to drive a Ferrari. When you have a doctor for a son, you get to enjoy these kinds of luxuries. Well, you wouldn't understand. But... I really don't think Mason can afford something like this. Mason's a doctor, you know. Of course, this is nothing for him. Or could it be that Mason hasn't bought you anything? What's that supposed to mean? You're not loved by Mason, are you? That's why you don't get anything from him, let alone a car. I mean, it makes sense. Someone as lowly as you... You're just not on the same level as Mason. Or me, for that matter. Not loved by Mason. Well, that might be true. But calling me lowly and stupid? A low-income, low-education woman, right? I'm not wrong, am I? You grew up poor and couldn't get a proper education, right? Because of that, you can't even hold down a decent job. And in the end... You have to rely on Mason. Do you really think an elite son like him would buy you anything? Mason is a doctor, you know. You can't even imagine the amount of effort it takes to graduate from medical school. He's always been smart, hardworking, and top of his class. Even in medical school, he was exceptional. Our family has always been filled with successful people from prestigious backgrounds. Honestly, it's surprising someone like you with no education or culture managed to marry into our family. It just shows how generous we are. Hey, I get the whole car bragging thing, but can we stop now? No, we can't. You're not showing us enough gratitude. You can only live the way you do because of us. Because of you? But your son only makes $1,000 a month. Huh? Quit lying, you loser. Looks like you've finally lost your mind, huh? Not just your looks either. Well, poor people are always liars, so I guess I shouldn't be surprised. I'm not lying. I've just kept quiet until now. I'm the one barely supporting him, but I'm done with this life, so we're getting divorced soon. After I'm gone, you'll have to take care of him, Abigail, so good luck with that. Whoa, whoa. This is scary. I've never seen someone so delusional. Do you want me to take you to a hospital? Or maybe Mason the daughter can check you out. What do you say? Mm -hmm. 
Mason, I need to ask you something. Oh, Violet? Why are you freaking out? I'm sorry, I am. Excuse me? I just thought I could sell it for a lot, so I went ahead and... Wait, what are you talking about? Wait, aren't we talking about the engagement ring? What? You sold the engagement ring? Well, I have this friend who knows a lot about that stuff, and he said now's the best time to sell it. It did quite cost a bit when I bought it, and apparently you can sell it for more than retail now, so I sold it along with yours. You sold mine too? Well, I bought it, didn't I? And besides, you weren't wearing it, so I figured you didn't need it anymore. We're getting divorced anyway, so think of it as a parting gift. That's not the point. That ring wasn't just a piece of jewelry. I loved the design. It was simple, but the craftsmanship was so elegant. There was a diamond in the center, and every time its sparkle lit up my hand. I imagined a future with you, and it made me so happy. Do you remember that moment when you proposed to me? I was so happy I couldn't stop crying. Every time I wore that ring, it reminded me of that feeling. Come on, why are you getting all sentimental? We're breaking up, so why would you want to remember the proposal? Anyway, that ring meant a lot to me. I can't believe you just sold it without asking. You're seriously the worst. I had no choice. I didn't have any money. You, as my wife, should stay out of it. What? Brad came by again to collect, and he was desperate. So I was worried that if things stayed the same, you might end up in a tough spot. I was just trying to protect you. Wow, what a smooth talker you are. So you're saying you sold the engagement ring to keep me safe. Exactly. Brad's a really scary guy. But you were the one who borrowed money from him, right? Yeah, but no other lenders would give me a loan. Brad's place has high interest rates, but they don't require credit checks. And you use that money for gambling? How noble of you. Still, I can't understand why your mother dotes on a son like you. It's not really that she dotes on me. Mom just sees me as a status symbol. All she really cares about is that her son is a doctor. So honestly, I don't really care about her either. You're yeah, right. You bought her a Ferrari for $500,000. Huh? $500,000? A Ferrari? What are you talking about? Don't play dumb. You bought it for her with your credit card, didn't you? She was overjoyed and I saw the picture of the car. It was delivered today, wasn't it? Is this some kind of prank? Think about it. There's no way I have $500,000 right now. I'm drowning in debt as it is. Then how does your mother have a car like that? She's not working and she doesn't have any money either. I heard she already spent all of your dad's inheritance. What's going on? There's no way I could buy a Ferrari. But your mom said you gave it to her as a gift. I'll ask her about it. Mom, do you have a minute? Violet's been saying something weird. She's saying I gave you a Ferrari as a present. That's got to be a mistake, right? Oh, sorry, Mason. I forgot to tell you. You left your credit card at my place, so I used it. What? I've always wanted that Ferrari. I'm so happy I got it. Wait a minute. That's the $500,000 one, right? Of course. I figured I'd tell you later, and I just forgot. But $500,000 isn't the big deal, right? I mean, you're a doctor. Well... If I had asked you before buying it, you would have said yes anyway, right? Sorry for not telling you ahead of time, but it's no big deal. $500 is a bit much. Why? You're a doctor, Mason. 
You can make $500,000 in six months, can't you? Six months? Even though I'm a doctor, I'm still new. I don't have my own practice, and I'm not exactly rich. Huh? What are you talking about? You're a doctor, so act like one. You're my pride and joy, so be confident. Stop whining over a measly $500,000. $500,000. You're lucky I'm just whining. Oh, come on. Don't be so weak. Isn't it something to be proud of that your mother is driving a Ferrari? But still... Don't contact me over something like this, okay? Got it? Mom. Violet, what should I do? What is it, Abigail? I'm at work right now. There are some strange people hanging around our house. They're demanding to see Mason. What? Why are you telling me this? Because I can't get in touch with Mason. What's going on with him? Well, Mason ran away. What? He's probably trying to escape from the debt collectors. He was already drowning in debt. And then, your $500,000 got added to the pile. He looked absolutely defeated. Drowning in debt? What do you mean by that? Don't tell me he took on your debt for you. Jesus Christ, this is exhausting to explain. I already told you he's practically unemployed. I was the one earning money to support us. So that's not possible. Mason is my son. There's no way he's a jobless man drowning in debt. And he did graduate from medical school and become a doctor. He quit being a doctor pretty quickly and has been working part-time ever since. What? The truth is, he never wanted to be a doctor. He only became one to meet your expectations. That's why he couldn't handle the intense workload at the hospital and quit soon after. But he didn't want you to find out, so he pretended to go to the hospital every day. That's impossible! He would leave the house with his white coat in the morning, acting like he was going to work at the hospital. Then, he'd waste time at a cafe or a casino. And by evening, he'd come home saying, I'm exhausted from seeing patients all day. He completely faked being a doctor in front of you. And since he did graduate from medical school, it wasn't hard for him to pull it off. I can't believe my son would do something like that. I understand it's hard to accept, but this is the reality. That's impossible! Not my son! And why are you so sure about that? With all due respect, Abigail, you don't exactly have much life experience or success, do you? Excuse me? That's so rude. My parents were elites. My husband was a company president. And my son, Mason, became a doctor. I see. So, what did you achieve yourself? What? I'm asking about your accomplishments, not your families. No matter how much you brag about them, it doesn't mean anything for you, right? Well... I... See? You haven't done anything yourself. That's why you put all your ideals onto Mason. Because you don't have anything of your own. Shut up! You don't know what you're talking about! It's easy to figure out just by watching you. But in reality, Mason quit being a doctor right away and turned to gambling. He's unemployed. It's time you accept that. I don't believe it! My son is brilliant, honest, and a great man. He's a respected doctor, admired by his patients. Then why is he ignoring your calls? I don't know. Maybe he's just sleeping? But it's a weekday. What about his job as a doctor? 
Then he's probably working at the hospital right now. I'm sure he's in the middle of surgery or something. Surgeries take hours, don't they? That's why he's not answering. I bet he's doing that complicated heart and bypass thing or whatever. I see. I hope that's the case, but Mason isn't a surgeon. Anyway, the idea that Mason is drowning in debt is completely false. You're just jealous of us because you're poor. Well, I'll send you the proof. Here's a screenshot of my conversation with Mason on WhatsApp. There's no way I can believe this. Not Mason. Not my son. This can't be. I'm sorry, but this is the truth about your son. No. When is this from? A few days before Mason ran away in the middle of the night. By this point, he was so desperate, he had to pawn the engagement ring. And in that situation, you bought a $500,000 Ferrari on his credit card. No wonder he wanted to run away. This can't be. There's no way my son is this kind of person. Oh. What's wrong? The debt collectors are banging on the door. They're demanding Mason, but he's not even here. Hey, Violet, where is Mason right now? Who knows? I have no idea. Just bring Mason back already. He needs to take responsibility for himself. It's ridiculous that he's dragging me into this. He's a complete failure as a son. You're so quick to abandon him. I guess Mason was right after all. He said you only see him as a status symbol. Or maybe you should take responsibility. You had a hand in how far he's fallen, didn't you? Gosh, well feel free to say whatever you want. If you're talking about responsibility, then you have some too, Abigail. What? I did everything I could to raise him right. He went off the rails on his own, so don't blame me. The fact that you can say that so calmly makes you a failure as a mother. Anyway, I'll have him contact you directly so you can hear it from him. What? You mean Mason? Hurry up and have him call me. Why did you do that from the start? Yeah, yeah, just wait a moment. Mom, Violet said I should contact you. Mason, why are there debt collectors at my house? They're banging on the front door, shouting for you. I'm scared, so come here quickly. Those collectors can be pretty rough, so be careful. What's with that casual attitude? This is your debt. You're the one who needs to pay it off. No, Mom. This is your debt, too. What? A few days after you bought that $500,000 Ferrari with my card... You signed some paperwork about the ownership, remember? Oh, I did sign something, but... Did you actually read those papers? I told you, make sure you read it. What? What about those papers? Mom, you're my co-signer on the debt, so you're also legally responsible for paying off my debt. What? Mom... You did buy that $500,000 car without asking, so I figured you should have some responsibility for paying it off, right? Wait, so you tricked me? I didn't trick you. I told you to make sure you read the papers. Why didn't you? Why? No one actually reads that stuff. It's all tiny print with a bunch of complicated legal jargon. Even if I had read it, there's no way I could have understood it. But signing means you agreed to the terms. So you are saying I'm your co-signer? No way. I'm not paying anything. I refuse to pay. I'll pay back the debt I borrowed myself. But you'll have to handle the $500,000 yourself. That seems fair, right? No. Why should I have to pay? This has nothing to do with me. I won't pay a dime. 
But if you don't, I'll have no choice but to sue you, Mom. Sue me? Yeah, for unauthorized use of my credit card. It's such a large amount that you could face prison time. You wouldn't want that, would you? What are you talking about? I can't believe my son turned out to be such a pathetic man. No, it's because I'm your son, Mom. You treated me like a status symbol, using me for your own benefit. And I did the same thing to Violet. There's no doubt we're parent and child, Mom. Don't lump me in with you. I come from an elite, wealthy background. Mom, that's just sad. You should focus on being able to brag about your own accomplishments, not your family's. Shut up! Who do you think you are talking like that? Let's both take responsibility. You'll pay off the $500,000 debt, and I'll pay off mine. I'll talk to the debt collectors and sort it out. There's no way I can pay $500,000. Please, Mason, do something about this. You already spent Dad's inheritance, Mom. This is what happens when you don't think ahead. Not that I'm in any position to say that. No, I can't possibly pay $500,000. Well, don't contact me anymore. We're better off staying apart. Wait! Violet, help me! I'm in the hospital right now. The hospital? I got into an accident and broke my leg. An accident? How did that happen? There's no way I could pay $500,000. So I rushed to return the Ferrari? But I wasn't used to driving it and I crashed into a telephone pole. I see. The doctor says it'll take three months to heal. Well, at least your life isn't in danger, so that's a relief. So, what about the car? What happened to the Ferrari? It's totaled! Completely wrecked! Oh no. Please, help me! Well, that's pretty much the situation, isn't it? But all of this is a result of your own actions, so you'll have to deal with it yourself. Don't be so cold! You have enough income to support Mason, don't you? We were barely scraping by. He made about $1,000 a month from his side gig of reselling stuff, which was helpful. My income is below average, so I can't afford to give you any financial help. But there's no way I can pay off $500,000 in debt. And now the car's totaled? I have nothing left. The debt collectors come to see me every day, and my only son has disappeared. I can't survive like this. It's okay. Mason will be coming back soon. What? I contacted Mason and set up a meeting between him and Brad, the debt collector. I decided I wasn't going to let him off the hook either. You both will get the chance to explore jobs that can help you earn some cash. So you two should work hard together to pay off the debt, okay? You... You sold me and Mason out to the debt collectors? Asking for the money you borrowed to be repaid is only fair. Both of you signed the paperwork after all. Jobs? They must be shady jobs, right? I don't want to work. I refuse to do that. You're not a child. You've enjoyed yourself on other people's money for long enough, haven't you? Maybe it's time you learned how hard it is to actually earn money. How irresponsible! I've heard it's going to be tough physical labor, so good luck. You traitor! Siding with the debt collectors? Say whatever you like. I won't be involved with you two anymore. Take care. After that, although Abigail safely left the hospital, she and Mason were soon sent to the workplace recommended by the loan shark. It's a factory where they face relentless physical labor every day, working from early morning until late at night, carrying heavy equipment and being forced into awkward positions for tasks. 
The sound of machines constantly echoes through the place, and the work is so monotonous that it takes a toll both mentally and physically. I've also heard that if they make even one mistake, their day's wages are cut significantly. Who knows how long it will take them to pay off such a massive debt? It's not just overwhelming, it's probably soul-crushing. However, a year later, Mason hit it big at a casino and paid off all his debts in one go. He quit the factory after that too. What can I say? He's always had incredible luck, if nothing else. Naturally, Abigail thought Mason would pay off her debts as well, and she was thrilled at the thought of finally being free from the physical labor. But Mason, who had only ever been seen as a status symbol by his mother, abandoned her and cut all ties. Abigail was furious, screaming like crazy. Have you forgotten everything I've done for you? But honestly, I completely understand how Mason feels. Abigail will just have to figure out how to pay off the debt on her own. Thank you for watching. Please rate the video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.